What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you that how you can integrate escrow uh, in your website and accept payments from your customers. So first of all you have to register uh, with the escrow. So you have to go to escrow.com and there you have to fill the details and uh, upload the documents if required and then after uh, it would be verified. And then you have to log into your escrow account and there we will be redirected to the developer uh, documentation and from there I will be showing you that how you can uh, add a simple button uh, on your website and through which your customers would be paying the amount to you. Alright, so there are simple steps to follow so let's get started. So before continuing this video, if you are new on this channel then please like uh, this video and also subscribe this channel. So let's log in to uh, escrow.com. So you have to go to the escrow.com and on the right hand side you will be getting login. So click on it and then after you have to enter the email ID and password here. So I have entered email ID and then after I need to uh, add the password here and then uh, click on secure login. So this will redirect you uh, to the escrow account. I mean the dashboard of the escrow and there we will be finding some ways to integrate the button. So here you can see that this is the uh, dashboard and here we have my integration so you have to click on this one and then after you will be getting a lot of things over here and we are interested to integrate a button, simple button onto the website and uh, if you are interested to use any specific input uh, element through which you can accept the dynamic values of the uh, amount then you can also do like that. I will be showing you that one as well. So here you can see that we have this option create button so you have to click on it and then after you have to fill some details here so create button so we have what button would you like to create so for example I am interested to use buy it now so you have to select this one then for example I am interested to use a transaction title so uh, for example I am writing here donation and then uh, currency that is US dollars so if you are interested to modify then you can you have the option of Australian dollar euro and GBP so I have uh, choose the default one then you can mention here the domain name for example I have my website keywords.com so I have added here the domain name and then I have to add the value for example 5 US dollars. We can modify this 5 dollars later on I will be showing you how. So uh, uh, later on uh, modification means I will be showing you how you can make it dynamic. Currently this would be creating a button and uh, there we will be having a fixed value which is 5. Then we have who will pay the escrow fee. So for example I am clicking on seller because seller will be uh, paying the amount or maybe buyer because buyer is taking the service from the seller then domain uh, domain name type without content for example then do you need assistance with the domain name tra uh, transfer no I will manage the domain name transfer and then finally we have uh, one uh, we have two or three options which are uh, like escrow styling this is light green or your own styling so I am interested to keep it light then we have return URL so if you are interested you can add return URL for example the payment is successful then after the user would be redirected to the page which you will be mentioning here and finally we have uh, button uh, type which is buy it now you can also make it pay now for example and you can see down below we have pay now and escrow.com so this has been modified and now you will be having this form and I am interested to copy this code. So let me click on this copy button and this code has been copied and let me paste it inside of this one. So I have already created an escrow folder so we have a file already but I am going to create a new file here. So for example new file which is escrow test for example then dot html and inside of this one I will be writing something I mean I will be copy pasting that code over here. So let me open it in the editor so I have the editor this one 
and let me close this one and now you have to mention here the HTML structure so for example I am writing here HTML structure then we have ESCR escrow escrow and then we have to add the uh, form which we have just copied from the escrow so you can see that we have just copied and pasted that specific code so this is not looking formatted so let me format this one so now you will find out that this would look pretty so this is how it would look like so let me save these changes and let me open it in the browser so how we, I will be opening it let me double click and you can see now that we have pay now escrow.com so if you will be clicking on this button then you will be redirected to the checkout of the escrow.com and here you will be finding the exact value which we had over there which was five US dollars so in order to modify that five US dollars uh, you can see that we have five US dollars all right so I am interested to make it dynamic so how I will be doing that is so let me tell you one thing so I have already uh, created one uh, one existing uh, HTML file in which I have already implemented so let me tell you what we will be doing here is first of all we have a few things which are like uh, uh, we have the price which is this one you can see over here we have this input element and inside of this one we have mentioned the name price and you can see that the value is 5 alright so I'm going to delete this value and uh, going to write here inside of it I'm going to write here required alright and then instead of a hidden I'm going to write number because I'm interested to input the value by myself alright so let me refresh this page again and now you will find out that this is an input value and if you will be pressing enter key then it will be giving you the option that you have to input some value for example I'm writing 7 so this will be redirecting to the checkout page with the value 7 so this is really simple so now you can see that on this screen you will be finding that there is the value 7 yes this one alright so that means this is 7 US dollars so we can select the amount according to our need but you can al uh, also see that we have negative amount as well but we are not interested to use the negative amount what we will be writing here is min equals to uh, uh, minimum value must be 1 alright now uh, for example I am interested to uh, design the things like this one escrow pay dot button let me show you the design of this one so if I am double clicking over it then you will see that this is uh, the style uh, this is the design in which for example I am writing 8 and let me click on pay now then it will again redirect me to the checkout page of the escrow alright so this is how it is working but you will be thinking that this same code you have required to implement into your website so I will be adding the link below in the description so you have to follow that and you can download this code as well uh, for your website all right so make sure that if you are new on this channel then like and subscribe this so in the coming videos i will be uploading a lot of good content so if you are facing any issue then feel free to ask me the questions i will be happy to answer you and uh, uh, yeah finally we end up with all the things so if you are thinking that this is a little difficult so you have to copy this code and then implement and this will be uh, very much easier for you to do so thank you once again, see you in the next video.